claim free basketball chain. Link in description. Mello be talking crazy to referees. Like, I, I, I'll never forget this game. He got the ball, and he, like, mid-post, caught it, uh, put his head down, boom, into my chest, tried to lay it up, and, I, you know, I held my ground, and he missed it. And he turned to the ref, called a motherfucking foul. I'm like, whoa. So now we come back down. Mello, being who Mello is, he goes to the same exact spot, Gets the ball. This is the very next play. And does the same exact move. Boom. And he gets the foul. He like, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> God damn it. And then he walk, He walks. Just walks on to the free throw line. Now, he didn't get attacked in that instance. But that's kind of a microcosm of who Melo is. LeBron James is the best basketball player that I've ever seen. I have never seen a guy come into the league with the amount of fanfare, the amount of hype, the amount of pressure, and actually deliver. Most complete basketball player that I've ever seen. Elite on both sides of the basketball. The most important thing for me, when you're talking about a player being an all-time great, is longevity. I care about what you did, and I care about how long you did it. Were you awesome for three years? Were you awesome for five years? I don't think that we could have a conversation about you being in the GOAT conversation if you weren't awesome for at minimum a decade. James has been awesome for well longer than a decade. We're talking about a guy at six foot eight, six foot nine, who is an elite passer, an elite playmaker, an elite scorer. I think he's one of the five best scorers that I've ever seen. Him on the defensive side of the basketball, he's elite. He's always been elite. Who's versatile, who can defend one through four, can even defend the five. He has improved every year. He improved as a scorer. He improved as a defender. He improved as a playmaker. He improved his IQ. All of this stuff has got better every year. For him to still be playing at an elite level, at age 37 is remarkable to me. He's the best that I've ever seen. I hate my dad. He's the worst dad ever. I'm going, dad, I don't want to play basketball. I just want to draw. Dad, I don't want to play basketball. I just want to draw chicken. Like, man, nigga, come on, come on. You know, it's been my boy's dream his whole life to go to the NBA. No, it hasn't. Yes, it has. No, it hasn't. Yes, it has. If you want to be good like I was, you got to be here day and night, boy. Bro, you didn't even make varsity. It don't matter if I made varsity. I was nice with the rock on God, boy. I don't need no auto tune. A lot of controversy on this photo regarding the greatest shooters of all time, and I really don't see why. People are saying that Dame doesn't deserve to be here, which I really don't understand. He can stroke it as well as any other guy up here, but... Um, I do agree that Larry Bird is missing from this picture, but I mean, other than that, this picture checks out. The rich really do get richer. Tyrese Proctor was a six foot five guard out of Australia, class of 2023, top 20 prospect, committed to Duke. But last night he said, forget all that. I'm coming to Duke early. He reclassified to the class of 2022. But the thing about Tyrese is he could shoot the cover off the ball. The man shot over 45% from three last season. And then when he played for the under 20 national team for Wales, he shot damn near 40%, man. He is a sniper. You see his ball handling. I don't think he's going to play the point though, but he is an absolute knock down from three he has to get stronger but that'll come duke bringing in another mcdonald's all american it's crazy they got like 40 of them on the roster man they not in the final it's just one game you're acting like it's over and it's just one game i didn't even say nothing i'll hurt for the bitch. now that's uncalled for i don't care and y'all acting like we don't got steph curry right? okay dude we already know oh, okay but it seemed like y'all forgot on god <laughs> This is the 2015 Warriors Championship ring. There was an epic picture of all the players holding up a trophy at the same time, right at the end of the game. And we were able to capture that exact photo on the side of the ring with every detail 
every hand holding up the Larry O'Brien Trophy. Oh, gee willikers, how did swag end up up there? I pulled up in some air prestos I was supposed to lift, but I decided to go kill instead, man. So they ain't like that. I'm frying them in running shoes. They tried to take me out, bro. They said this wasn't a foul. But watch this next one, because if I known this in real time, bro, mwah, we would have had to take that outside, gangster. I'm not even going to cap. I wish I'd have known he cocked it back. That's crazy. But it's cool, man. R.I.P. Mamba, watch this. I don't want that when it's too easy. Come here. This is an all-day affair. Kadoosh. I had like 30 points in three games, bro. Hey, and my best stuff didn't get recorded because my cameraman was lifting. I'm really shysty for real. Just because she has a pretty face, does not mean she has pretty heart. These bitches don't give a fuck about a nigga. Who is more important to their team, Tatum or Curry? I like Tatum more. I feel like Tatum's more important. You like Tatum more as yeah, a player? Yeah, I like Tatum more as a player. Who is more important to their team, though? Are you being biased because you like him? The Warriors have so many assets, and they can let it fly from every one of them can let it fly from deep. Jason Tatum, he's the heart of that Celtics team. Don't you guys think Curry has a two-time MVP? He needs this finals MVP. When he gets that, when he gets that, oh. when he gets that, he becomes a top 10 player of all time. She don't miss, bro. Tell me one time she missed. Damn. Everyone hyped about the NBA needs to chill out just a little bit because the NFL is still king and you only need one stat to prove it. The Christmas Day Nets-Lakers matchup was the most watched NBA game this year with 5.75 million viewers compared to the Raiders-Browns Week 15 matchup, which was the least watched NFL game of the year with 5.86 million viewers. Catch, there he is, look at that. Damian Lillard from the Portland Trailblazers here. He's here for the big fight, actually, in this stadium on Sunday. Cambosis and Hanley. And just a cool 42 million uh, last year. Or well, this, just this guy. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. In case anybody was wondering how petty the NBA Finals get, and just the playoffs in general, there has been an official complaint that this setup is not at center court. You see this here, how it's shaded on one side that that gives, I don't want to say an advantage, but it, it tells one team that you only have a portion of the court that you can't work with. So there was already an official complaint from the Golden State Warriors that that needs to be on the Boston side. And if it's not going to be on center court, then it needs to be on the Boston side in Boston. Did you know dunking is painful for NBA players? I've spoken to a few NBA players that have told me they always hurt their hand, wrist, or forearm when they dunk the ball. Dwayne Wade dunked so hard he couldn't feel his hand for a few minutes. Kobe Bryant's fingers would bleed from dunking, and Vince Carter would often bruise his forearm. The one way to avoid all these injuries is players throw the ball into the basket instead of hitting their arm on the rim. What? Today we're talking about how to look like an absolute dickhead playing pickup basketball, and the last one is the worst. First though, we have brothers wearing way too much gear. You don't actually get attribute boosts from accessories in real life. Then we got your man for the big body shorts. Nine times out of ten, they're over the age of 35, and they're shooting hella bang shots. Then you got the I just got off a work special. These guys will make your entire run look like shit. All right, now this one's just a personal pet peeve. If you're wearing high water sweats, I don't want to play with you. Then we have the absolute top dickhead uniform, the NBA jersey, and some of y'all even tuck it in. It's ridiculous. Please stop doing that shit.